Hi Bolt Bakers! Recently I made a video making crazy dough. Now crazy dough is one dough that you can make so many different breads from, both sweet and savoury, like Nutella loaf and even pizza. Last week I used it to make a savoury stuffed bread that was absolutely delicious and this week I'm going to use the same dough to make cinnamon rolls. So let's get baking. Okay, our first order of business. The recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com and as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Okay, now the first step for our cinnamon rolls is to make the lovely filling. So here in this bowl, I have some melted butter and into it, I'm going to add some brown sugar and then some cinnamon. Add that in there and then just mix all of these ingredients together. Okay, super simple. That is our delicious buttery filling. Now we're gonna get started on our dough. So sometimes people are kind of intimidated by making cinnamon rolls that they're a really big process, but they're actually really easy to make. And if you've watched my bread series, you'll know how easy it is to actually make bread dough. So I really hope you try out this recipe. So now let's talk dough. Here it is. Now I made this in the first episode of this series, so you can go back and watch that. The dough is really easy to make. You do not need a stand mixer and you can just mix it up by hand. It takes two hours to proof and you're ready to go. It's really, really fast. So I have a floured surface here, and I'm just going to roll out my dough. You just want to roll them out around 20 inches by 14 inches. All these measurements will be on the website. What we're looking for is a really big rectangle. Nice big surface to spread all of our cinnamon butter over. If you find that your dough is sticking, put a little bit more flour onto your surface. Okay, lovely, I got the size that I wanted. So now I have my filling here. It's been chilled a little bit, and I'm going to spread it all over my dough. Spread your filling in a nice thin layer, getting it all over the surface. And just be careful not to bring it all the way to the edge. Leave a little bit of a space. Now in cinnamon rolls, some people like toasted nuts or even raisins in the middle. That will go really well too, so just scatter them on the top there. Okay, this is looking good. It's nice and well spread out. So now we're going to roll it up. So lengthways, we're going to very carefully just roll it tightly up. And then just keep on going until you see that lovely big roll form. Fantastic it all comes together. Beautiful. Now here's a funny bit of trivia, but I always get asked what's the most common pieces of kitchen equipment that you think people should get? I would say a ruler is one of them. I always need a ruler in the kitchen because I need to measure my tins, measure how long my dough is, to make sure everything works out right. So invest in a dollar ruler and you won't be sorry. So for our cinnamon rolls, I need to cut them two inches thick. So they're nice big guys. So just go ahead along the log and with a serrated knife, carefully carve each one two inches. You're gonna end up with lots for your friends and family. And then once you slice it, you see the inside? See how pretty that is? You see that lovely swirl? This is what all our work is going towards. It'll all be worth it in the end. So this will make around eight to nine cinnamon rolls, nice big guys. So here I have a 10 inch tin lined with parchment paper. You can also use a square tin, that'll work really well too. And then we're just going to go ahead and lay in our cinnamon rolls all around. Try to space them out evenly, because remember, they're going to grow up and proof together. Okay, lovely, they're all nice and snug in there. Once they're all in there, we're gonna take some cling wrap and then just lay that over the top of your tin to make sure that no air gets in at them while they're proofing. And then what I like to do is take an extra towel and put it over there and make sure that they're nice and snug, get nice and warm, and they grow big and beautiful. So now I'm gonna set these aside to proof. They're gonna take roughly around 45 minutes to an hour and they're gonna get nice and big for us. So my rolls have been proofing for an hour and let's have a little peek. They look perfect. As you can see, they've probably doubled in size. They've grown nice and big. So at this stage now, they're ready to go into the oven. Baker cinnamon rolls off at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for roughly 40 minutes or until golden brown on top. While our cinnamon rolls are in the oven, we are going to make our cream cheese frosting because you cannot have cinnamon rolls without cream cheese frosting. It's like the best part. So in this bowl, I have some cream cheese. Now, if you can't buy cream cheese in your country, do not worry because I've got a recipe of how you can make your own on bigger, bolder baking, super, super easy. So into this, I'm going to add in some room temperature butter, some vanilla extract, and some icing sugar. All that good stuff in there. And then you can take a hand mixer or you can actually just do it by hand and then just beat all of these ingredients together until you get a nice kind of a paste. Okay, there you go. Cinnamon roll frosting, ready to go, absolutely delicious. So actually, I just heard my timer go off, so let's check on our cinnamon rolls. These cinnamon rolls look absolutely gorgeous and they smell amazing. There's something about cinnamon rolls, I'm not sure if it's the cinnamon or the fact that they're so warm and gooey, but they're really comforting. Oh, yummy. 
So now all we have to do is just take our cream cheese frosting and then spoon it over the top when they've cooled down for around five minutes or so, just so it all doesn't melt off. Lovely, all the way around the top. You can never have too much cream cheese frosting. Gorgeous. So now, of course, cinnamon rolls are one of those things that are best eaten in the first few hours that they're made. So what you want to do, because this is the style that they are, tear and share, pull yourself a nice big one. Oh, look at that, it was so beautiful, and the swirl. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. My favorite fish is the bit in the middle. Mmm, seriously. What could be better than bread, cream cheese, butter, cinnamon? Mmm, breakfast of champions. I hope you saw that it's not complicated to make cinnamon rolls. They're really, really easy. All you have to do is just get through the steps, assemble it, and you're ready to go. If you haven't already done so, make sure you check out all of my other crazy dough videos, and I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.